came into the arena tonight with a look of confidence. Here we go. So the Timberwolves win the tip. And the starting lineup for the Timberwolves. The front court is McDaniels and Towns. Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. And it's Gobert in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Conley. Over in the corner, McDaniels. Six on the shot clock. Floats one. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. Well, here we are talking about Timberwolf greats. One player standing out to me, and Doris, I know to you. That's Kevin Garnett. I don't think there is any debate that KG is number one. He is Minnesota's all-time leader in points, assists, rebounds, steals, and blocks. My goodness, what a career. And so it's the Mavericks getting on the board first. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luka Doncic. That's his first foul. Conley finds Edwards. Here's Gobert. Outside Conley. Lock at six. Here's Towns. Powell pulls it in. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Dallas moving the ball around. Green passes to Irving. On the wing, Irving. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Well, what a move from Kyrie to keep the defenders guessing as he moves in for the score. There's 138 left in the first. Now Conley. Outside Edwards. Fires from 14. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. That's not coming with the right mentality. The defender neither closes the space nor challenges the shot. That's frustrating as a coach, boy. Here's Doncic. Anthony Edwards making his last shot. Outside Irving. They kick it out to Green. Launches a three, and he's good on the three ball. Well, the evolution of Kyrie Irving continues. He comes in as a scoring point guard, but more and more those passing skills are on display. Now here's Edwards. This game he had 13. Outside Conley. To the inside, McDaniels. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Well, if you want to pinpoint one thing about Mike Conley, it's his feel for the game. That's a pretty pass. Forty-three seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Irving. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. And this matchup with the Mavericks is the first game of the NBA's regular season. Edwards against Powell. Edwards can't hit. Look at the last game for the Minnesota Timberwolves. It was a win against the Mavericks in Dallas. A game they definitely felt they could win. And with a break here or there, they probably could have. You know what? The stats certainly looked good. But the fact of the matter is they couldn't deliver in the clutch moments. And that's something you've got to figure out moving forward. Outside town. Misses the three. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Mavericks lead by five. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen here, guys, from the Mavericks. An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. What terrific work at the offensive end. They have built some early momentum here. They've got Maxi Kleba. Seth Curry is out there with Kyrie Irving. Then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Holmes in at the five. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Timberwolves trail by seven. Greg, what a remarkable run from the Dallas Mavericks in that 2010-11 NBA season. And some say it's the toughest title any team has ever won. When you consider the juggernauts they took out, including the big three of the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. Now here is Hardaway. Anthony Edwards unable to get his last shot to go in. 
Six to shoot. Curry kicks to Hardaway. Offensive rebound. Here's Holmes. And then Jim down as he goes right over Kyle Anderson. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead. And here we go, baby. It is showtime. And they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Edwards, that's good. But taking the contact in the NBA is such a critical skill. Anthony Edwards, the frame and the game. Here's Irving. Count it good. Irving's got the lead up to nine now for the man. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Hilton the pass to Reed. Curry with the steal. And it's good for two. Well, how about the awareness from Seth Curry? Keeps his eye on the ball. Prime for the steal. Nicely done. And here's Milton. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. Nifty move. It's rebounded by Dallas. Outside Irving. Passes it to Kleba. Stolen by Anderson. Round with it. Holmes covering. Goes up from the top of the key. Edwards can't hit. Dallas leading by 11. Pass to Irving. Trying to find Holmes. Gets it to him. Back to Irving. He lobs it up. Kleba, no good. And the timing just not there on that attempted alley -oop. Just a missed connection, and it happens. I'm sure they will go back to it if given the opportunity. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two and jam. And a new group getting ready for Dallas. Dwight Powell's checked in for Rashad Holmes. Grant Williams comes in for Maxi Kleba. Josh Green's checked in for Hardaway. And Doncic is subbed in for Curry. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Goberry's checked in for Reed. Towns comes in for Brown. McDaniels, he's checked in for Edwards. And it's Conley in for Shake Milton. Dallas shooting their first free throw of the game. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. Conley kicks to Anderson. Gobert with a screen for Anderson. Inside, with four seconds on the clock. Shot is good, and the Mavericks lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from Rudy Gobert. Doncic way outside. No good on the quick three. Yeah, he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional... All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow. Right here on 2K Sports. Sports. You have to like what you're seeing from Luka Doncic. He had a fast pass in the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now, this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, the wings set for him, Edwards and McDaniels. The two towering points. Oh, Boy, that's a dunk we'll see for a while. Rudy Gobert, a little sauce on that one. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Dallas leading by seven. A great even by modern big man standards. Carl Anthony Towns can really shoot the three. Yeah, and the only center to win a three-point shooting contest. Towns has developed a terrific stroke, and he just shoots the ball as well as most of the guards in our league. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. Timberwolves trail by nine. Conley surveying the D. Gobert in the corner. Back to Conley. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Nice pass here to set that basket up. 
And often players want to discuss calls with the officials, but Greg, what was your approach with those conversations with referees? Okay, well, it, it depended on the conversation, but at the end of the day, you realize they've got a job to do just like you do, and you try to keep it as respectful as possible and yet still be able to get your point across. Doncic has gone five of seven from the field. That's uh, over 71% actually. To the left wing. Here's Towns. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got three assists in the game. The Mavericks leading by seven. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Powell finds Green. Locked up there for Powell. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Outstanding timing from Powell. Rises up for the forceful alley-oop. 112 left to play here in the third. Well, there is some question, as you know, the move that Dallas made last season acquiring Kyrie Irving. They gave up a lot for sure. Boy, they sure did, Kevin, and it was a high-risk move that obviously fell flat. For this organization, it has been trying to get the right mix around Luka Doncic. That is the key for them to succeed. Fifty five seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Doncic against Conley. Minnesota shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And the first one at the line is good. I think Mike Conley historically will always be part of the grit and grind mentality where he spent his career in Memphis. But this guy's skill set allows him to fit in with any organization. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. Reed, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Kyle Anderson comes in for McDaniels. And Nikhil Alexander-Walker in for Edwards. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Conley against Doncic. Towns the screen. With the crossover, here's Reed. A three-pointer, no good. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Doncic outside. No good with the layup. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. The Mavericks on top. They're up by 11. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. Always a joy to get a sneak peek of the NBA season ahead as we get back to the action. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Axie Kleba is out there with Powell, and it's Hardaway in at the three, the small four. It's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Back to Irving. The pass to Kleba. There's the feed to Hardaway. Five on the clock. Doncic left side. Three-pointer. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Out to Conley. Takes the three. Unable to get that one. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Conchich outside. Pass to Irving. Two Get good. Gets in the paint and drains it. Kyrie Irving, show off that touch. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute play. And here's Edwards from the arc. No good that time. Think burn some clock if they want to. And get a little breather as well. Doncic going to work. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. 
one thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Edwards. And he banks in the lane. Uh, Anthony Edwards in the painted area is going to be a force. Size, strength, and hops. Look out. Dallas leading by 10. Kleba with a screen on Edwards. Irving passes to Kleba. Yep, it counts. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Edwards drives in and finished off by Edwards. Oh, Anthony Edwards thinks this game is a dunk contest. Go ahead, young sir. What a finish. For Dallas, they've gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Irving looking over the floor. There's a minute left to play in the final quarter. And Dunchich throws it down. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for Dallas. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Luka Doncic. What a relentless scoring night for this guy. In attack mode all evening. Powell sets a screen for Doncic. He dishes it to Powell. Outside Hardaway. Shot clock at six. Here's Irving. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. And they can just dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they got to be happy with the outcome. A nice shot by Doncic. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance, to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. A shot by McDaniels, no good. So no problem for Dallas as they get the win. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Kyrie, a top-tier matchup. I wonder if you circled this one on the calendar. Every game is like that for us, especially going forward. Um, we understand what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, little things matter in the big picture. So we want to just come out and just have a consistent consistency on both ends of the floor. Well, it showed up tonight.